Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Cockerel Kung Fu. The what? Yeah, tune into this review. You'll learn more real quick. This board features traditional camber, so from contact point to contact point, you have the standard arc of traditional camber. That's gonna give this board pop, drive, snap, and everything else in between. This board is available in four sizes, 152, 155, 157, and 159. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was a little overcast. There was some light snow falling. There was fresh corduroy with some snow on top of it, making it a little bit faster. Temps, you know, cold, zero wind. I rode this board with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board is a floppy fucking noodles. It's soft as shit. You have mega amounts of flex in the tip and the tail. It's only slightly stiffer right where the insert pack is because in the middle, it gets super soft and there's a lot of torsional give to it. Basically, you feel everything. Like you can feel the grooves in the corduroy with this board. There's nothing to it. You look at the core profiling, it's ultra thin. You will feel everything with it. It's a floppy fucking jib noodle, basically. Even though this board is camber, it's so soft, it makes the camber profile ultra easy to load up, which gives this board a skate like pop. Now, is it snappy? No. Is there a lot of rebound? Not really. Does it get the job done? Only if you suck your knees up. Can it handle jumps? Yeah, small ones, maybe some medium ones. I wouldn't really push it past like 25 feet. I'd be kind of scared that this thing would fold but it'll do what it needs to do if you know how to ride. You could fold this board in half if you wanted to. You can manhandle the shit out of this thing. Those ultra soft tips and tails just make a giant immense sweet spot right here and right here. You can just fold the board however you want. You wanna be lazy with your buttering? Go for it. You wanna be hard and aggressive? Do it, just be prepared to fold the fucking board. That's kind of just how it happens. Overall, this is a board that you can butter with. Like if you're learning, you're not gonna have any problems. And if you know what you're doing, you're not gonna have any problems, but you can fold it. And the same can be said with jibbing. Yeah, it'll lock into a nose and tail press, but you don't wanna be assertive with it. You wanna be a little more laid back because if you're assertive, you're gonna fold it. And when you get sideways on a feature, it just hugs right around it. I mean, like you could clap this board if you wanted to. It's soft and floppy, like slow speeds, probably better way better than just like power ollieing onto something and disaster because you're you're just gonna fuck this thing up you can turn with this board but you can't carve you just you just can't you'll overpower it it'll just flex out fold wash out you know that's kind of how it is like setup turns that's about it really mellow carbs yeah okay i guess you can kind of do that if you're like really slowly traversing but the second you put any drive or power into that tail it washes out it folds. It's just that fucking soft. Who's this board for? A beginner that wants an easy flexing cambered twin snowboard or someone that's ultra lightweight. Maybe even a woman or a large child. So first off, this is a fucking Nitro Prime, just so anyone that wants to know what this would be from Nitro, it's a Prime. Second off, this is one of the softest fucking boards I've ever been on. Like the second I pulled this thing out of the wrapper and it was brand new when I got it, I noticed how thin that core profiling is right there. There's nothing to it. And I could just like get this thing to just wiggle like a wet noodle. I mean, there, there's literally nothing to it, which is funny because their website says this is a 6.5 out of 10 flex, which I think those numbers are complete and utter bullshit. So that just tells me that like the heaviest rider that they fucking have riding for them probably like weighs less than what I shit in the morning. So anyways, it's a nitro fucking prime. That's really what it is. Um, I could probably just shit on it some more, but Cockroach's just ripping shapes off from Nitro because they're made at Playmaker, and they're not supposed to have access to these molds, but they're doing it. And I bet you that Playmaker probably thought Cockroach would never get in touch with Nitro, but you know, I've talked to Nitro about this, so we'll see where this company is in a year. They probably won't be around, and I'm probably never gonna get boards ever again because I just fucking utterly shit on them in three reviews because they're literally ripping off other brands. So fuck them. If they're trying to get into the Western market, it's not going to fucking happen. And I'll be sure to tell people that these are ripped off nitros. That's my personal thoughts on it. Comparable boards, the Nitro Prime, Ride Agenda. 
the Nidecker Play. This has been my review of the Cockerel Kung Fu. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? I doubt you own one, and I doubt you're going to buy one after this review, so who really gives a shit if you leave a comment down below? If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of these videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing as well as shit on really crappy snowboard brands that rip off their shapes and shit from other legitimate brands, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.